the net and uh, this little guy set, excuse me for leaning over, um, this Underwater World Sea Life set, which is quite cute. Um, and I thought it would be really nice to do like, you know, on, from the inside of a boat to a porthole. Um, so that, that's kind of the idea behind this card. So, um, let me just get my bits of paper. So I have a, um, I've done my base card. So I've gone for dark brown because I was looking for the kind of like you know, that dark, old dark brown of a, a, a wooden boat. I've used craft card because I wanted to use craft for the net and then I needed something to tone that in with. So I've got a map of craft card. Then I've got um, some of the Creative Expressions gold mirror card, but you know, whatever gold mirror card, hunky dory or whatever. And then this paper is from the Crafters Companion Nature's Garden, the Woodland Friends one. Um, most of their nature's garden packs i think have a wood effect in them all different kinds of colors and tones i thought this really dark one was exactly what i wanted to sort of represent the inside of a boat keeping this all quite dark and then having the porthole as being really bright uh, and cheerful as a sort of focus on this so that's our base card let's just stick that together and then we know that's done dusted and out of the way so oh, what way should we do it should we, no not that so should we do it that way? No, but I've written the arrow on the back, so obviously we're not using it that way. We're using it this way. Some glue. And... on there. All my arrows, look at that. When I prep, I'm fairly organised. Because I know when I get to this stage, it will go horribly wrong. And it quite often does. Right, there's my um, mirror card layer. And uh, here is my, um, whoop, come on glue. This is my um, wood effect paper. So it's sort of like the, I've got, um, quite often I use the, the wood effect like vertically, but because this is to, to um, sort of represent the inside of a boat then, Planks would be going horizontally rather than vertically. So that's our card base made. So next thing then, let's just, uh, just like before, let's cut out um, our uh, lovely, excuse me, our lovely um, fishing. See, I tell you, it all goes to pot when I get live. Our fishing net um, die. We'll cut this one out of craft this time. And that's true. I've got all sorts of things all over the place. I can see Dean's going to be going in a minute. Right, so this is going to for just for our net. So we're using that uh, like we did um, on the previous card. It's kind of like um, almost a mat and layer, if you like, but a backdrop um, for our little uh, porthole scene. Looked, yeah, by the look of that, that's cut pretty well. So I am just going to try and get these off, otherwise, I will be sticking in my next. I'm sorry about this. I'm just going to turn my back and do it over the bin. Otherwise, they will get stuck the next time. Okay. That. So before I take it out, I'm going to run the brush over to get rid of some more. It's easier to to do it while it's in the dye because you've got this harder um, surface to press against. You can do it once the, the die cut is out. But I tend to turn it over on its back when I do it that way. 
Okay. Hang out everywhere. So there's the die cut. See very few left in the die itself. Again, I've got one more. Um, we need this for our uh, final project later. So I'm going to clean this one out properly. Right, so that's ready for the project. Let's just get some more of these off. Uh, almost all. Put these last few little bits out. Back on. Right, so that's now ready. Put in there. Tidy this bit up. And get rid of these bits. Now I have already cut out a um oh got glue on that. What a surprise. I've cut out um a circle for the back of the porthole and I've cut out um a sort of another sort of circle border which is smaller, which should be the inner part of the porthole. And then we're just going to create a um a little inky background, and all I'm gonna use is Salty Ocean. I'm grab a brush for this, nice bright blue. Um, because I really wanted um a dis distinct blue, but a very sort of bright blue. I'm not worried about um if I've got white bits, because I'm going to in a moment I am going to um to look pinky fingers. I am going to spray it. Um to get the to get this kind of uh, water effect, so trying trying to stay tidy, I'm not doing so well. So this is um this is my uh, dispress sprayer, and it does spray very fine if you want it to, but if you don't press too hard, you can kind of get it to dribble. That's too far out. There we go. See, you can get it to do some quite nice big. Lobs, which is what I want. That's all I want. And I am going to, I'm going to use this bit again, this clean bit here, and I'm going to just put that on the top. And you can see where I've uh, put that through. And then just use the rest of this water to clean that up. Okay, so that's my little background. There. We'll put that side. It's going to go into our into our porthole like that. Now what we need, we need all these these little bits. Now when I did this, and I I I used um I used up some scraps, and I cut them all out. I was like. Like that, and then once I stuck it all down, I realised I was a piece missing. Um, so we're going to try and actually use use all the bits today. I'll show you the bit that I've got missing in a moment. So we have scrap bits of card. This is a, a nice one for busting all your scraps. Let's move that out. Uh, okay, so this. This cuts out the whole of it. You can see there's a cutting edge all along there. Now, um, I want green, uh, some green seaweed. So I'm cutting out the whole thing out of green. I'm going to take that down. Then I've got this bit of paper, which I have cut the fish from. Um, I was going to say that really awful joke, but... I don't know whether to. What's a fish with no eyes? Psh. That's bad. I'm sorry. I apologise. 
I will not tell jokes again. So uh, I want an orange starfish. A bit more tape. So an orange starfish. And I've got this green. A green? It'll be yellow, not green. Uh, a yellow scallop shell. And oh, I seem to be missing my pink card. Oh, it's there. It's there. So I've got this like little pink, it's like a whelk shell. For some reason, the reason I did it pink, and it's, it's, I know it looks nothing like it, but this kind of, for some reason, I, my first thought was like those shrimp um, sweets. I don't know. Well, maybe I'm showing my age. Those shrimp sweets. I used to, I used to love those. It was like, Oh, like there, those that pink colour. Right, I'm cutting these down because um, I don't need all this bit of card. Oh, I haven't got the sharks. Sharks. Well, I don't know. They're very small, so um, I'm doing those on a bit of grey and some more tape. Oh, cut that one off. Now, the bit that I realised, I had cut, oh look, it's shiny on the other side, let's go on the shiny side, shiny, shiny, um, <laughs> with the bubbles, I'd cut them because I found them after I'd finished doing the card, so we'll, we'll see if we can um, incorporate the bubbles into uh, this, this uh, version of our porthole card. All right. Right, so I am going to see if these will cut without the magnetic. I don't know that it really needs that much pressure, but we'll see. We'll put them through, and uh, if they don't, then I'll put it through again with the magnetic. Might be that without it, I won't get the um, the embossed, so we'll see. Let's just, just go with it and see what happens. I have, um, when I prep, I prep at home and I, with my Gemini, but all all machines, even the same brand of machines, um, are different. Every every machine is individual, and um, sometimes sometimes it like oh, I'd say that cut. Yeah, I'd say that cut too. Okay, uh, okay, right. So we didn't need, yeah, there we go. We didn't need the extra pressure. I was right. There we go. Oh, now be careful. These are little, little um, things. So be careful to make sure that you've got all the bits off of your cutting plate before you just kind of like brush it off. Um, okay, so we have. Uh, oh, and we do, we do have. We do have the um the embosses. That's pretty cool. Um, where's our little? I am going to put these back on here so that I don't lose them. So our little clamshell, and then our oh starfish came out there. Yeah, come on, all um fingers and thumbs with this little starfish. Don't forget that um you can ask questions um in the uh. The feed, and um, if you hit the like button on the page, you'll also be um, updated when we go live, but also when um, the videos are, are put onto YouTube. Because I not only do um, the Facebook live on a Friday, that I, I we record some videos, usually, usually roughly four, sometimes five, um, and they get put up through the week as well. So um, it's worth uh, liking the the page or you can subscribe to the youtube channel which is Tixie studio um so yeah so that way you'll know what what um what we've got out there so what else so that's our kind of i'm going to use this in the next card in a different way where we actually do use this but i'm going to cut these off in a moment um a little uh well shell is there and so I'll 
I just don't want to lose the bits this time. So I'm being very careful. Oh, now, oh, there's, there's the small fish. Fish. I'm sorry, I need to stop saying that. I don't know why I kept seeing fish. Fish. Um, no. Oh, they'll fill up. Phew. I thought for one moment I'd thrown them away. There's the fish. Um, and this time there's the bubbles. Make sure I remember to use the bubbles this time. So, bits and get my pokey tool, poke that out. Where is my pokey tool? Oh, I totally remember my Gemini. Oh. Right, so there's. There's, there's the bubble. Put them back on. Get rid of those little bits. Put those back on there, ready for uh, the next demo. Right, so I want to go in now and I want to cut these off. Now it doesn't matter because they're going to sort of disappear underneath. So I'm not too worried what I'm cutting off down here because it's only going to be like the fronds that are going to be showing above the porthole and it's here oh excuse me i've got an itchy nose i'm gonna have to get to blow my nose in a second all right so there's those there just excuse me please if i can find something There we go. Right. So, okay. So now, up to one side. Let's bring in our card to start um, assembling. So, put that there. Right. So, what I need now is to assemble these on here. I do need to make sure that. I don't know, that, that's a lot too big. I quite like that. Have those little bit, bits of extra green. Um, and it is just literally a case of arranging them around the edge. Maybe, maybe have that one there. Um, I'll tell you what, I am going to get rid of that pointy corner there. And that pointy corner there. Those like that. Mm. I'm just going to glue them, I think, rather than faffing. I could be here a while if I keep faffing. So, right, let's just start by gluing, gluing this one down. And uh, just be leaning over the camera. I'm just getting a bit of card to block these on. So let's put this one to the hop, pointing in like that. I'll have that one down there. there. And what else have we got? We've got that one and that one, haven't we? So that one overlapping there. Oosh. Yeah, yeah. Gabbled. Gabbled. Uh, that one. That one going up there. And this last one overlapping them all in the middle. Right. Now. Where shall we have the bubbles? The bubbles. I wonder if we could have just the bubbles. Pull it out a little bit. No, we'll have to put that down to see. How about under, from under there, maybe? Yeah, so I'm going to just take that one off again. Bear with. Bear with me. Put a little bit of glue on the back of the bubbles. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we'll have them 
there and then put the yeah. that'll do fold that in half and give all that a nice press put it down just double check so that's going to look nice we might have a little, couple of little bits of green to trim off yes you can see them from this side so I need to trim those off Okay, so that will be our hole like so, and then we'll have our little sharks. Well, well I've made them sharks, they're grey sharks. Uh, we'll have them like we did before. I'm just leaving that um, on, it's not stuck yet, but I just need to, to be sure that um, I'm not sticking them too close to the edge that they are going to be seen. Phew, one minute I thought I'd lost that little, this little guy, poor girl. Yeah. For goodness sake, Carol. And then we'll have fish. I, will, I need to stop fish. We'll have them. I might do them slightly differently. So I'll have the, that one there, that one there, and then the little one up there. Yeah. A bit closer. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I need to glue them though, don't I? Need to glue them. Okay, so. This is uh, almost done. This one, and uh, if it's one of, another one of those sets that so we use this way, can um, be great for using up all those those little you know those pesky um, scraps, you know. That you get not oh, pesky. Why am I saying pesky? All those little scraps. My brain is gone, totally gone. Right, let's get the uh, let's get the porthole done. Less inane talking and more useful craft descriptions would be better. Okay, so I didn't last time, but I am this time. I'm going to raise this up slightly because I felt I feel it just needs a little bit of a lift to make it look more like um a porthole. I am. Just make sure that's stuck though. Right. I think we'll assemble that one to here. I'm going to, like I did before, I am going to use the spray on this one. <laughs> I stood up in my chair. The chair wobbled away from me. Um, yeah, just because it is easier to um to apply this one with the spray. So this uh, Crotus Companion Stick and Spray for any of the spray adhesives. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend um, cutting this one with a double-sided sheet uh, sticky sheet because because there are so many little bits, it could get quite um quite tricky. Okay, so just leave that to uh, should be thirty seconds, but I probably won't be able to wait that long. I'm very impatient. So I'm not going to wait. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so we are going to put this sort of towards the top. So it's more, more towards the top than the bottom because the porthole is going to sit here. And then we're just going to press that down. There we go. Right, so let's. Put hold on. So we're going to start. I'm going to stick this one flat. Whereas last time I, I 3D, I put that that on top of here and 3D the lot. But this time I'm going to stick this flat there, and then I'm going to 3D this on. I am. I'm just looking at whether I should put. No, stop. I'm sure you will do this in your craft room. Okay. I was just wondering whether 
what I was thinking about was, should I put these on before I put this on? But I'm not, because I want them to overlap. So I'm going to stick this on first. We'll see. We'll see whether I was right to do it or not. Right, so let's put this up this way. There we go. I think I'm liking that more as a porthole. It looks more 3D than, than the original. Um, right, these these little malarkeys are little shells. A little bit of glue gel behind those. I'll put one there. And we'll put the, I don't know if you can see the little detail that's embossed on here. Beautiful. Just, it just makes it, when you get these tiny little die cuts and they have that little, you know, sort of amount of detail, really makes them something a little bit special. And then here's our little uh, clamshell. Oh, wrong glue. Ah. Okay, so there's our clamshell. Okay. Right, so in order to make it look like a porthole, I have some of these gold, oh, well, not pearls, but they're kind of like these flat backed um, embellishments. I think I've got way too many, but we'll see. Um, so we're going to go on the outer one. So let's see, I'm going to do what I got on there. So I'm going to go, oof, <laughs> blowing bubbles in forever. No, I'm not. Okay. I do apologize. I feel like I'm like really not here today. Right. Okay. Let's go for it. One there and one at the bottom. So I want them roughly symmetrical, so I not, don't just want to go randomly round. Okay, then I'm going to go in there, in there, in there. And I won't do one there. Ooh, I could probably just fit it in. Let's let's go for it in there so I can see it. Right, let's get these on. In there. These are like the rivets that you see rivets on um on the porthole. Oh come on. I'm going to sneeze. I am very sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologize. Oh. Did she know sneezing? I don't know. I don't know what's coming to of me today. Right, so there's my rivets on my porthole. Let's put these ones away. Do I know I do need I need some of those for the there. Right, and then all I've done with um this is just ordinary twine. You don't need you know, you don't need to buy expensive crafting twine, this is just cotton twine. Um and I made like a bow, um, like with four loops, and then literally just cut through the loops to make it look more sort of nautical or rustic. Um, and then I'm just going to put that on there. And then just to tie that in with this, I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of glue gel and then three of the, the little flat back uh, gold. Uh, embellishments. There we go. Goodness me, we got through it finally after all my procra procrastinating. Is that even the right word? Probably not. Right, so let's have a quick recap then on this one. So we have used the maritime fishing net die for this lovely sort of backdrop. I've used just some circle dies to create this porthole. Background is salty ocean distress oxide, um, then splattered with water and then just blotted. And then the all these little dies are from the um, Sea Life set uh, from Amy's Designs Underwater World Collection. 
and just used with scrap paper so no sort of colouring or anything needed on that. Thank you.